Hi friends, it's Nirmal back again with a new video. Hope you guys had a wonderful week. So today we'll be looking at Northern Christmas Lily or Cartwheel Lily, beautiful plant. So stay tuned for its care and culture. Proifis amboinensis is the official scientific name given to this lily which was named after an island called Ambon in Indonesia. The plant is endemic to South Asian countries and also parts of Western Australia. It is truly a tropical flowering bulb that belongs to the Amaralidaceae family. So friends, as always, do consider subscribing to the channel and being a part of the family. Uh, also press the bell notification button and select the all option for all my notifications in the future. So we'll get into the details of the video now. So friends, Cardwell Lily is a prolific blooming bulbous plant that produces a very long spike and a bunch of buds on the tip of the spike. The leaves of this bulb is also very decorative and can be used as indoor plants. You can see the kidney shaped leaves with all the venations. The flowers are white in color and are very attractive. They usually bloom during the night time. The number of flowers that a spike produces depends highly on the age of the bulb as well as the overall health of the plant. In any case, they do give you a display of blooms for at least 2-3 weeks. So guys, you can see how beautiful and how big the flower or inflorescence is. It's really one of my best suggestions for bulbous plants because it's both a foliage plant and a flowering plant. So Cardwell lilies usually flower during the spring all through summer. So similar to most bulbous flowering plants, uh, a cardwell lily bulb will flower once a year if it has reached maturity. The entire bunch of flowers last at least for two weeks as new new buds mature and open. Friends keep in mind that the flowers are fertile and they will set seeds. If you are not looking for seeds, you can cut off the inflorescence and save the plant a lot of energy. Friends, I have an Instagram handle which is nandanam underscore exotics. You can check out that account. Also, if you have any further inquiries uh, regarding certain plants I feature here, you can ask me there. So check it out. The link is in the description. So the best thing about a Cardwell lily is that the foliage of this bulbous plant is very beautiful. It's very decorative and you can grow them as indoor foliage plants even without blooms. They look very similar to hosta lilies that you can find in temperate parts of the world. Speaking of temperate, these plants are tropical in nature and cannot handle a lot of cold climate. So protect your plant during winter season if you are from a temperate part of the world. These plants are generally very easy to care for in a tropical setting. The plant appreciates semi-shaded condition. Grow your lily where it is bright enough. If it is not so bright, the plant might not flower for you. Water your lily whenever the soil turns dry and try to repot your lily whenever they outgrow the pot. So friends, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys found it entertaining and helpful as well. Uh, I hope you will consider growing this beautiful lily in your garden. Uh, so until next time, it's Nirmal signing off.